make sure that businesses are back on their feet before saying, okay, you know, it's only, it's been a month and, and it's, you got back to work in June. That's not just going to be enough to make up for your lack of business in, in March, April, and May. We want you to be back on your feet for at least two to four months. That's where it's really gotten to be the most scrutinized. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You know, banks don't want to take on risk. They, you know, they like certainty and confidence. So uh, that makes a lot of sense to me. So if I have a client uh, who says to me, I have a pre-approval from February, I'm fine. Uh, what should I say to them? <laughs> you should say you need you, <laughs> that from February, Sorry. you should say, even if you had it from May, you would need to get it updated. It is by the minute these days. Um, and so important because different lenders are changing things differently. Um, so whereas somebody may have been pre-approved by a certain bank in February, they may need, they, that bank may have changed their guidelines where a different bank will might still allow them to get approved. So for example, if somebody planned on buying a condo and putting down 10% and they were pre-approved in February, they, they may have had 10 different banks to choose from to put down that 10%. However, now it's very likely that seven out of those 10 banks won't even allow them to put down 10% anymore. So if that's still within their means and still something they want to do, they may need to get pre-approved with a new bank. Yeah, I mean, that's a great point. 